Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. Sorry for not uploading yesterday, I got kind of caught up with a few things and had to sort something out. So there's no upload yesterday, kind of broke like the daily upload grind, but it's only one day, you know, I had to have a little a little break so I didn't burn out. Um, So yeah, I'm back, I'm just back on the daily upload grind, just a little one day break. And as I promised in like, I think about videos ago, or maybe my last video, I said I'll potentially do a Minty Code giveaway if people are interested. I got a ton of comments on that video with people who still haven't got a minty pickaxe so yeah i will be doing a minty axe code giveaway within this video kind of simple i'm not gonna ramble on it like about it too much but i am gonna be hosting the giveaway over my instagram so yeah you guys can see my instagram on screen right now once you guys are finished watching this video it's kind of simple you guys will just head over to my instagram there'll be like probably the top link in the description you click on the link it'll head you over to my instagram and that's where i will be i like by the time this video is up i would have posted the giveaway it would have been linked down below and you guys can just enter the giveaway over on my Instagram over there you guys will be able to see proof of that I actually have the codes and I'll be just basically sending a few people over there who head over to my Instagram a few codes just to, just to have you know and I also will be using Instagram a lot more to post a ton of clips that you guys wouldn't usually see on here so if you guys are interested in like highlight videos and me actually playing like competitive Fortnite you guys can go over there and follow my Instagram anyway but now that's out of the way, in today's video we're going to be talking about how you guys can improve your FPS in less than 2 minutes. So these are going to be basically the quickest fixes I actually know to this day. So basically the quickest methods you guys can use within chapter 2 to increase your FPS. This video will probably be over 2 minutes, but that's only because I obviously talked at the start about the giveaway etc. But the actual part where I'm talking about the actual FPS boosts, these tips are going to be literally like all, probably about, it's probably about 3 tips I'm going to give you in this video. And they're all about less than 2 minutes, like combined. If you guys do go ahead to enjoy the video you know what to do drop a like helps out more than you think push this video out to further people subscribe post notifications on if you guys have not done that already and can be noti gang and then comment noti gang down below for a potential shout out in my next video i need to catch up on those shout outs but yeah without further ado let's get straight into it so guys i'm over my desktop right now you guys can see um not all my desktop is on the screen but that's because it's just my obs settings don't want really to mess with it i said this in another video but yeah it's all fine you guys can see my desktop so we're going to start with um, a few things that we want to change within the game user settings of your game these are a few things you guys probably should have done a long time ago you guys may have done a long time ago but i guarantee 80 percent of people watching this video have not yet done this unless you guys may watch a guy called orange guy he was another youtuber he actually did cover this in one of his videos but it was about three months ago so i just want to update this exactly for chapter to two and you guys are all up to date and know how to do this i'm just gonna push it out to you guys and then you can use this because it does help quite a bit this is probably one of the quickest and best fps boost like tips you can use so yeah we'll get straight into it what you guys want to do as i said you want to go to your, like, your game user settings so what you have to do is go to this little bar down here you can't see it but you have to put percent app data percent i will put on the screen exactly what that is it's just percent app data percent and then it'll be a full folder you want to click that once you guys are over here you want to press um i'll move this center my screen you guys want to press back over to app data you want to press a local you then want to scroll down to where you see fortnite game see how mine is right here fortnite game double click that go to save config windows client and then you should find game user settings you just want to right click this go down to properties make sure read only is um basically unticked then want to press apply press ok you then want to open this and change it Okay, I'm dumb. I just did it on the wrong thing. Um, I was meant to do it right here. You want to make sure read only is unticked. Press OK. And then you want to double click this. And then it's going to open this right here. Now, this is where you guys want to change a few things. What you guys want to do is go to the top where it says edit. And then go down to where it says find. Press find. And then you, what you want to search here is B show grass like this. Then you press find next. And it's going to find where that is. It's going to highlight it for you. So it's just easier to navigate. You want to change this right here to false. Kind of simple. Just put it as false. You then want to search here display gamma. I did that wrong. I meant to put it like that. There we go. Display gamma is down here. You want to change this to one. And then you want to put six zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You then want to put SG dot texture quality. You want to find that. Where that is, you want to have that on zero. For this foliage quality, you also want to have that on zero. And yeah, once you guys have done that, you want to just cancel off this. You then want to press file. You want to press save. Once you've done that, it's going to all save. Then that's kind of simple. It saved it for you. You then want to go back to your properties. You want to change read only. Then you press apply. And then press OK. But everything I 
just filled in there, I will put in the description so you guys can just copy and paste what is that like exactly what you need to find within there. And I will probably put it on screen just to like simplify things to you guys. This just fixes some of the textures in the game that don't even need to be in the game and that you don't actually like you don't visually see and they're just sort of in the game and they are causing your game to have a few stutters or just lag a little bit. So just doing this will make your game feel a lot more smoother and just get a better FPS right overall. So yeah, your frame rate should um, basically increase from this. It's kind of a little simple tip. Again, Orange Guy showed us in this video, but I wanted to quickly show you guys it here. It sounds complicated, but it literally takes less than 30 seconds and um, it's quite effective when you guys next load up your game. Okay guys, so now I'm over my Fortnite. I'm going to show you guys some things you can do here, which will also boost FPS. You guys want to navigate to just your settings right here. Once you guys are in this little settings section, obviously the main things you guys want to do is obviously have all these on off. Like So view distance near, shadows off, anti-aliasing off, textures low, effects low, and post processing low. Kind of like simple things that you guys just want to like, you should you should always have already have these on, on all on the, the lowest setting anyway. Things like VC, you want off. Motion blur, you do also want off. For this DirectX 11 stuff, either the, if you want DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, I made a whole video on that. You guys can check that out on my channel. It will be linked down below and it will be on the end screen card. So if you watch to the end of this video, you'll see it anyway. But yeah, if you guys do want to know what to use out of these two right here, I made full videos explaining all of that. You guys can check that out on my channel. Just a little plug. But the main thing you guys want to do is go over to here, game settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom. You guys want to make sure NVIDIA highlights is off. That's only if you don't use NVIDIA highlights. I'm sure a lot of you guys won't unless you make YouTube videos. So you guys do basically want that off. I have it on because I do record YouTube videos. I'm a content creator. All, all the replays, you want all of these off. So each one of them off. And you want contextual tips off as well. So have all of these off. So basically everything below vibration you want to have turned off. This will make a huge difference to your game. Like having replays on in game, actually it makes your game a, a lot more laggy. You, you'd be surprised. A lot of you guys may have like already changed that. But um, I'm sure a lot of you guys also haven't. So I just want to bring that out to you guys. Also when you're on your audio section, you guys can change a few things here. If you guys don't use voice chat very often, you guys want to have this on low. Even if you do use it, to be honest, it says right here, set to sound quality. High quality sounds better, but may decrease performance. So you will get about 10 more FPS, potentially, if you have this on low over high. So you do want to have that on low. For me, I have it on high. I use a lot of voice chat. I, I just do. I, I don't know why. My PC can sort of handle it as well. If you do want the best performance, you want that on low. Things such as background audio, subtitles, and visualized sound effects. If you have them all off, that is best performance as well. Same thing with 3D headphones. Apparently, it is better performance having it off. So anything below sound quality basically all of these you want off or low it's kind of simple but obviously what is basically relevant to you you can turn on depending on what if you like them or not but if you don't find yourself using any of these anyway you're fine and you just want to put them on the lowest setting and everything else here is sort of under personal preference and won't affect your fps one thing you can do is cap your fps rather than having it unlimited the best thing to do is cap it you get a more stable frame rate and also get less input lag within the game so if you guys are not capping your fps in like chat 2 i don't know what you're doing i play 144 and cap at 160 that's what a lot of pros do such as like clicks and many others and if you play 240 hertz you just want to cap it dead on 240 and no no lower no higher and if you play on a 60 hertz monitor generally cap it on 60 fps but i don't know when i play 60 hertz i did have it on unlimited just because there was actually a difference but if you do play on 144 you guys do want to have it on 160 that's just like that's just basic but i don't know i mean if you play 60 fps which a lot of you guys may and 60 hertz like it's down to you if you want to cap it but if you do play 144 hertz which i think probably like 50 percent of the people watching this video may actually do you want it on 160 like you want to cap your fps trust me everything feels a lot more nicer and also things such as custom resolutions may help your like fps if you want to have it on something like i don't know this for example 7058 by 1080 which is now deemed a stretch resolution or 1904 by 1071 which actually is native but has a few less pixels this is tfue's current resolution and it does help your fps quite a ton that's exactly why i use it i made a whole video on this as well which you can find on my channel so yeah you'll find that it's pretty i'm pretty sure it's called like mongol versus tfue stretch resolution that is also on my channel if you guys want to see that but yeah guys i wanted to quickly make this video just showing you guys that like this is the quickest fps boost video i've probably ever done um all together everything that i've shown you in this video takes two minutes i thought i wanted to just update you guys with this for chapter two i'm sure there's something in this video that helped you guys and you actually um got a bit of fps increase from it or a performance boost if you use all the tips that's great and if you only use a few like you're still gonna get fps boost please let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments down below again this is more like basic tips i just want to make sure everyone is up to date and using within chapter two because if you are not using any of these like generally you're missing out on extra performance that you may need especially for end game scenarios and anything where your, your fps may be decreasing and you'd want that extra boost or increase with your like frame but yeah i thought quickly made this video update you guys on that if you guys did enjoy the video you know what to do, drop a like helps out way more than you think takes two seconds to get it right now as i speak make sure you are subscribed post notifications on so you never miss an upload like this on my channel if you guys do want to enter the um, instagram minty code giveaway you can do that right now link is in the description all the relevant videos i 
talked about in this video like if you want to see the stretch resolution or see the diet x 11 versus diet x 12 video you'll find them on my channel but i may link them down below as well but yeah it's been your boy farfetch and yeah peace